Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. The 24th. The 24th. Oh, and I better remember who I've got to give my gift to for next time. Good morning, kiddos. Oh, feeling sluggish. Let's drink that coffee now. Okay. All right, so it's, are these up again? Oh my gosh. Okay, so that is one leaf per. I was thinking this at the end of last time. I was trying to math out the whole... The, uh, the difference between the green tea and the coffee. So the green tea comes in... Let's see, okay, so it's, it is one per keg. Wow, so these things are worth a hundred bucks a leaf if you are, although they're, you know, again, a little bit more demanding than coffee. But still, you could, that's a pretty good economy you could get going with um, green tea leaves if you had a, a whole mountain of these and a whole pile of kegs. Huh, interesting. I wonder if the, do these grow in a shed? <laughs> Asking for a friend. Come on, Penny. I have to go into town today. Don't work too hard. I need something good for lunch. Besides drinking green tea all day. If you want to play a cruel joke on my mother, give her squid. She might not forgive you, though. I guess everyone has their hang-ups. <laughs> what? That sounds horrible. I'm not giving anybody squid. That seems like a beyond a cruel prank. That seems like it may get me murdered. Well, he was... It appears that uh, I tried giving the victim squid. Oh, not the victim. The, uh, the assailant. Dear James, here's a vegetable from my little garden I keep out back. You probably have more veggies than you know what to do with. But oh well. Carolyn. Dear James, tomorrow's the Feast of the Winter Star. Did you get a gift for your secret friend, Alex? The Feast starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you then. Mayor Lewis. Okay, so I need to get him, like, a, what, a complete breakfast or something? I think that was his, his heart's desire. Uh, let's put our diamonds away. Oh, no. What? Oh, I just pulled up colors. There we go. Um, okay. Put away all of our row. I'm not going to worry about the rest of those resources. That's all good. But we could put away our things here. Let's get rid of the star fruit out of my inventory. Oh, I don't even have a place for it. Okay. That's only like 30, uh, 15, and uh, 40? We got 40. Parsnip. It's weird. It's weird seeing a parsnip. <laughs> it's, a, it's a piece of food I don't almost recognize anymore. Parsnip. Parsnip. I've heard about those. Oh, right. Early game food. Forgot about those things. Oh, little parsnipiters. Let's go get ourselves some other things to eat here because the crab cakes will keep us going. Okay. We're good. <laughs> Affirmation to self. We're good. We're good. Let's put this coffee away as well. Don't want to be walking around with all that. This is the problem though. I got all the green tea action happening. I gotta keep on my, uh... I gotta keep on my coffee. Hmm. Alright, I don't really want to go... I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. I don't want to get everything here. I think I am going to get another batch of stuff, though. Oh, because we're going to get busy here. I'll have to go... Oh, I also got to go and see if Jade is up. So this actually might work out well. We'll walk backwards. We'll go and get all of our stuff here, and then we'll walk backwards. So many slimes. It was cute last time we saw the, the slime. Uh, a couple slimes fall in love and start a family. Get a mortgage. You know, uh... They got a nice little condo. They're living on the cinder sap. I don't know what they have plans for. I don't know what would slimes do if they were uh, able to go on and, and do... One of them is uh, an accountant. The other one is... Uh, I think I had dreams of being a dancer, but those dreams were smashed by an injury. Um, when you're a slime, you know, you, you wouldn't think slimes could get injured dancing, but... Some moves are just too much. That's where, uh, I think that's that's my slime story. I can't imagine any, uh, I don't know. I don't know what slimes would do. They seem like they're sentient. That's what's kind of scary. It's, it's also kind of disturbing. I mean, like, they, they seem like they're very, they're talkative. I mean, they, they can talk, right? 
yet I've murdered thousands of them. I'm surprised they're friendly to me at all. There's not stories being passed down from generation of slime to generation of slime about the farmer. Remember the farmer who smote us down? It would, it, oh, it would be a grudge. Multi-generational grudge. They pass through their genetics. Eventually, they're maybe they're just biding their time. They're going to get me at some point. And the farmer least expects it. We will come together in our the slime formation, and we shall attack en masse. The farmer will never know what's coming. The farmer thinks that he has to worry about all those other monsters in the thing, and that we're leaving him alone because of that ring of his <laughs> silly superstitions. There's no ring that stopped the slime. Only the sty slime can stop the slime. We'll let him have this for now. I think that's what's going to happen. They're going to, once I hit level 200 in the mines, they're just going to pounce. I'll be too deep. No one will hear my screams. I'll never be able to escape. And that's how I'll uh, end this playthrough. That will probably take that for me to end this playthrough. I think I used to get more of like, at what point are you going to start a new save file? Or are you done? Uh, people have stopped asking that. I think at a certain point, you just kind of go, yeah, no, I don't see an end point in this. I really don't either. I have no idea. I think there's a point at which I probably like, I don't know, done. Well, it's hard to say. I just changed the end post. I mean, like I, I keep coming up with dumb ideas. So like as soon as I think, oh, I'm kind of going to run out of stuff to do. I just kind of in my head, I'm like, yeah, but I could do some other really absurd stuff. And why not? Why why don't we do that? So like, you know, using all the waterway, for instance, or whatever. Did I miss? I missed some waterway here. Could I just simply not put? No, I could, could. I definitely could put a crab pot here. That's some real estate I had missed. I'm going to have to do a little walk around. It's like a construction after uh, after the project's done. Excuse me there. See, that slime understood. The slime was conscious. He's got a little headpiece. Just reporting in. The farmer appears to be picking up trash out of the crab pots in the southern region. Heading north, northbound on the... Uh, the icy flow. Uh, well, there's a lot of glasses here. Leah probably wears glasses, but she uh, resents and hates them, or you know, resents them in some way because they probably, are you know, I don't know, they get in the way of her creativity. Her un, uh, she just wants to be un, unencumbered by glasses. And throws them wildly into the water. Uh, her chimney is green. That doesn't look good. You might want to get that checked. Was her roof green? Her roof was green. Oh, I guess it's just melted snow. That is an incredibly... That's a, quite the detail. I really, really like that. That's a lovely detail. Of course, if you had a... Was that always there? That just doesn't seem like it was, but maybe it was. That's a great detail. I Again, and this, this is why I'm you know, going to be pushing 800 episodes is that I still notice dumb things all the time that I'd never notice because I'm, you know, my brain just it overlooks it. So many lovely details, either that have changed over the updates, or I just simply failed to notice earlier on. I'd really be interested to see an earlier winter shot if that was there. I really don't know. <laughs> like, I would like to think it was, but I also know he's changed, um, you know, images at some points. So, well, actually, we should go get the beach first. Let's go down there. He's changed and Oh, hold the phone. Was that... Yeah, I could get that. Oh, no, I can't get that. Right, I can't get over there. Ugh, grumble. Just tantalizing me. Stuff in the water. But little things have changed, so who knows? I... Me... <laughs> I like the, uh, what is it, the, one of the wikis for this game. You can see that the, uh, the changing styles of animations of various sprites over the course of the game. And I, I don't ever, I remember I've seen that a while ago, so I don't, I haven't looked at that in ages. But that's probably where I should go and look, actually, just to see what has changed over time. There are people, I, I think, who are far more obsessive than me who notice these things. Thank goodness. I don't have the lingering question floating around my head at night. 
So look at this one too. Is it now, like, does it change over the season or is it always this melted? Is there a difference in the, the seasonal? So what was, oh yeah, okay, that's just some, some fish out there. I thought that was looked like gold panning, but that didn't make any sense. Stow that away. Oh, where's that crab? Oh, it's on the other side. All right. I hoisted out. This is going to be quite the haul. This is going to be a lot of fishy products. My goal to be fertilizer king shall be met. I think that's why I ha this activity is kind of inane and really, like, really tedious. Um, despite my, you know, approach at, like, making it as, like, kind of, I don't know, I guess streamlined as possible, it still, it takes this so long to do. It takes longer than I kind of thought, and, um, having an objective with the, what to do with all the products really is critical. This wood, if it weren't for the wood going in the chipper, which, again, thank you for whoever reminded me of that, or told me about that. That was the one of the best things to know about the, that you can put the the driftwood in the chipper. I would not have tried that. It would never have occurred to me to do that. But I'm so glad I because they gave me a reason to continue. What are those two birds doing? I think they're waiting for me. They're gonna take me out. They heard my comments about hawks and seagulls. Yeah, recently they they know. I got I got a hawk here. Maybe that's what I need. I need a hawk to prevent me from getting attacked by... They're not geese, to be fair. They are just seagulls. They're more annoying than vicious. At least to me. They're, yeah, they're gonna fly off. Like, does he have food? No, he doesn't have food. He doesn't have food. Oh my gosh. So much stuff. Alright. Now, do I have room for the... Yeah, I'll grab the Nautilus shells. Absolutely, why not? Pick up. There's a lot of shells here today. Oh, cockle. Not a shell. Very nice. Oh, we were able to get everything. Clean it up. Pretty purple slime. I wonder if they're keeping Elliot company. He goes out and reads to them. He reads them poetry. What kind of poetry would a slime like? Probably something that you would expect that they're into classics. You think, oh, hey, the, they'll be for sure, like, reading, like, you know, Aunt Marnie will let me go out after six. It's not fair. Um, animals might kill you. Excuse me. Hey, thank you. Yeah, animals might eat you, uh, so there's a good reason your aunt doesn't let you out at night. That's Also, you might there might be a lycanthropic concern. I want to look for bub bugs, but mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. By that I mean that one of the children is probably a werewolf. It's, uh, I think that's uh, accepted canon. Uh, we don't know which one. Just find the sheep. I shouldn't say things like that with a, uh, say that with a straight face. This is my, <laughs> my children have come to learn that I just say sometimes stupid and horrible things and uh, because it entertains me to do so. And I, I sometimes say things with a straight face, and then I realize later, I'm like, oh, I, not everybody realizes I just say dumb things for, for humor, that it entertains me. Um, so I don't actually believe that one of the children is a werewolf, and I, I don't think it is uh, accepted lore. <laughs> just to clarify, in case anyone was truly wondering, really, are the children actually werewolves in this game? It's a bit dark. No, no, neither of the kids are werewolves. I mean, that we know of, right? After we go to bed, um, really, who who's to say what happens in this community in the evening? It could literally be... I mean, there's... I don't know. We have a witch that lives in the mountain. We have a wizard that lives in a tower. There could be some freaky stuff going on. I have no idea. So, you know, that's... I think there is already enough lore in this game. Anything is truly possible. One of the, the children definitely could be a werewolf. I don't see why that's not totally feasible. <laughs> I don't know who else. Clint probably has, you know, like Clint's need to be loved, but 
uh, at the same time always feeling rejected. That could stem from some other thing like he's... He knows he's... He may be Glint Werewolf. I don't know. He's got... He goes in uh, just absolutely crazed. He goes out to the desert at night. Um, attacking anything and everything. I mean, like, there's a, why are people finding me passed out when I go into weird the mine and stuff? Because other people are out in those locations. That's the only answer. There's a whole, a whole other world that this is going on here. Krobus is uh, keeping us all safe. I think Krobus is the key to. Uh, if it weren't for Krobus, boy, Krobus is just he plays it cool. Oh no, no big deal. Same with Krobus and the Dwarf, they've got a thing. They're each keeping the zones secure. That's why they, they have to bring me in, but if I pass out after 1 or 2 o'clock... It's not that I just pass out. Uh, they, they, they know I, the whole town gets sprayed with a some kind of knockout nerve agent in the evenings so that we ha we can't see what goes on. It's too horrifying. No, that, that's too far. I don't know. I don't know what goes on in this place. Why do I always have to pass out at night? I, we, can't, we can't actually stay up. No matter how hard we try, no matter how much coffee I drink, I can't seem to stay up at, late at night. That does suggest that something's going on, doesn't it? Is there not a conspiracy going on here? I'm not a person that's prone to conspiracy theories, or subject to them, or... They, they don't... Uh, they don't hold sway on me. <laughs> They're all too abs just absurd. Reality is too crazy for conspiracy theories. Conspiracy <laughs> conspiracy theories presuppose that you there is some knowable objective truth that you can uh, you can work with, and uh, I don't know that that's the case. <laughs> I think reality is just really weird, and I I think uh, you know. Modern attempts to discredit the notions of truth and objectivity. I don't know. I think they're kind of uh, ridiculous. Okay, hold up. Let's. Okay, now we'll get the. There we go. Uh, I don't know that we. It's. I think reality is so weird. Do we really need an answer for everything? I don't know that we. I do. I think I'm perfectly fine accepting that there's a little bit of chaos in the world. Okay, there we go. So that's... We're jaded up down to there. Okay. And then we'll... Okay, we'll pick up the jade here. Okay, and then we'll, we'll get that, and then we'll go... And we'll do the next row, starting at the bottom again. I mean, it probably really doesn't matter at this point, but... For the sake of consistency. I hope I'm only doing the one. I should be a bit more careful. I've probably been dumping the, like tons of them in the... Okay, that was perfect timing. So the next round would definitely be able to convert the whole thing. Nice. We'll flip that whole thing right over. Oh, that's fantastic. And I did forget to go into the sewers. I think I'm just going to go home, though. Why am I taking the bus? <laughs> just to check on things. Oh, I meant to do that. I mean, I meant to do that. So as fun as it is to come up with conspiracy theories, I don't actually believe in any. The two... Uh, I don't, I, I'm very fine with the universe being a, a big pile of crazy chaos. I, I don't know, I don't need to put order to it. I think it's, ultimately, conspiracy theories are kind of about that idea of trying to make, it's, it's a kind of, it's a, it's another, like, like religion, it's an ideology that is attempting to put structure onto things, I think. I think it's the same human urge. I think it's what conspiracy theories meet. Oh, really? We're going to be uh, full of inventory. Okay. Wow, at least we got some coal coming in here. 
that's my hot take on conspiracy theories. So as I, I as much as I enjoy coming up with them for imaginary things like video games, they're not a thing I would ever want to be coming up with in real life. That would be messed up. Let's put this. Um, we can put some stuff here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we'll put the things that we already had going on. There we go, and then we can we can use up most of our paper. There we go. Oh, why is there? Okay, there's one torch that's come up. Is this gonna be all torches? Is that what I've got going on? Probably is. Oh, and it's only midnight. This is gonna be all over the place. See, now those came up cloth. Now, was that the same? Is it cloth or torches? I have no idea. Or maybe I put something else in. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. Now I question. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's a couple up here. And as soon as I got to that and did those ones, then this appeared down here. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> good timing, recycling. Good timing. Uh, now, I don't want to put more... I don't know if, that I have any other good stuff here. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm down to glasses, aren't I? Okay, well, we'll see how much coal I came up with. I'm intrigued to see how much this worked out to. It seems like we got a decent haul this time. I'm about to black out. Okay. Okay, there, and... Oh yeah, iron ore. Okay, well, there's two more coal, so... Let's see here. I got 81 coal? Are you kidding me? 81 coal, so that's like 83 coal. That is a lot of coal for just my little recycling run. Okay, that's not bad. Wow, that's a shock. I think there might have been a few already in there. But that's still a huge amount of coal. I mean, I'm not going to get that much coal doing many things. So that's a surprisingly amazing amount. Cool. All right. At any rate, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.